Uh, so I want I just wanted to uh, talk a bit before uh, before I uh, begin to start raw. I heard about uh, you know what happened yesterday. You know with the eight tornadoes across eight states, Friday and Saturday was you know honestly uh, terrifying to, to think about in the lives that's uh, you know injured and obviously lost. And, you know, I think uh, whoever is getting blamed for it, uh, yeah, basically I guess uh, whoever is probably uh, the government or just uh, you know main main America. So uh, I guess so. But I just wanted yeah I just wanted to uh, you know apologize. Uh, I just wanted to uh, you know uh, extend out my heart and you know whoever uh, if y'all happen to come across this. You know the families or whoever was related that uh, or has known anybody who was caught in that kind of uh, devastating experience and uh, danger. That I just wanted to say, uh, you know, we I'm here for you and you know, incredibly, uh, you know, not that I would you know still do anything because I know how it feels, but. But, you know, still, you know, incredibly sorry and hopefully, you know, to try to uh, get by it every day. But it's also because uh, uh, the reason for the natural disaster is just because of, uh, it's because of how we pollute the planet. But I do know that's uh, that's a cause, right? Yeah, it's because uh, I've always speculated that too. It's probably another uh, conspiracy theory that humans try to, you know, discard or make it seem as if, you know, anybody who says things, they try to talk under them terms like that and, you know, make uh, scenarios paint out as if, uh, you know, that humans are the cause. You know, you're deemed as, uh, you know, incapable in every other, uh, you know, mental uh, aspect. So, yeah, that's just, uh, yeah, that's basically the uh, main reason for the, you know, pollution in the planet and why natural disasters are, exist, and why they continue to get out of control. Right. That's all I wanted to say, and uh, yeah, that's it. All right, so obviously we get a uh, let's catch on the raw right now. You know, I'm watching as I'm watching it right now. We're gonna get it right into it, but I, I just wanted to click on also to say with uh, another reason. Hey, people so etched. You fucking like, who like like you fucking <laughs> fuck? Oh my goodness! Like, can I? These fucking AEW chill bastards are, are so sensitive in their blood streams. All because I gave my thoughts in the actual reality of AEW. Like, that's what's going on right now. There's no, like, they, like there's no characters, stories, or anything besides MJF and CM Punk, like, I, like I've been saying. You know, the time, the little a little bit of time that I've been on here. <laughs> it's like, they like, I, of course, I can't have my thoughts and speak on to what I've, I've been seeing. I, I, you know, I act like I, you know, I ain't got no fucking eyeballs at all or I, like I don't watch wrestling. But, of course, y'all already know, you know, y'all know the era we live in. Y'all know the name. But, uh, I ain't wasting more time on that either. Let's uh, get into, uh, you know, I'll talk to y'all after uh, this look like this, uh, this Bobby Lashley segment. So, so I think they go, I guess uh, he's getting back in the middle of it. So I, I don't know, I think he's getting back in the middle of the world title picture between now Seth, Kevin Owens, and Big E. That's weird. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back. Uh, okay, so yeah, this Bobby... Bobby Lashley, uh, 
Bobby Lashley, Kevin Owens, and Seth Rollins all in the segment. Big E, too. So I, they turning this all into a feud? All into a feud? I would have just taken... Yeah, I can kind of see where they're going with this, but... Oh, I definitely can see, because, uh, you know, this he damn no well no. Because all, they also made a match if he... Bobby Lashley defeats Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens. They might have said Big E, but yeah, wherever the witch. If he defeats them both tonight, then he will get to. Ch it'll be a fatal four way for the WWE Championship. Well, I kind of like that. Yeah, hopefully that happens. Yeah, if that. Uh, what well, that's even more confirmation that Kevin is not going. Uh, Kevin Owens is not going to win, and he might be on his. Uh, both feet out the door, you know, out of WWE, so, yeah, oh my god, I want to talk, uh, also, I uh, mentioned that, oh, like, he just, Owens just comes out, too, and just, uh, yeah, he's also, I, if I haven't already mentioned before, uh, yeah, he's definitely another, uh, he's definitely a wrestler I, <laughs> who I don't, uh, like seeing on my screen, uh, yeah, he tries so hard, desperately, at the top of his lungs, screaming, with every bit of noise in his body to try to come off as a, uh, you know, a bit, uh, whether he's playing a heel or a baby face, it's just, yeah, it's, I just look at it too. I know, uh, like, s some, uh, some of you, you know, have seen it, like, that he uh, comes off as just, you know, just really seriously desperate and embarrassing. When he's uh, you know, talking on the mic, or just being a character, oh my gosh, yeah, just everything about him, from the uh, character to the persona, uh, charisma, everything. I mean, I won't lie, he's a, yeah, he's a great, he's a, of course, he's a great, uh, really great performer, but it's just like, oh, goodness gracious, and actually, yeah, that uh, you know, MVP saved that segment. So, yeah, that was, uh, whoo, that was a bit of horrific. Oh, yeah, Big E, I'm starting to, uh, you know, get, uh, well, I'm starting to question, but, uh, yeah, his, uh, his personality, too, because, uh, yeah, I'm not with that, you know, whole, especially with the twerking and everything like that, you know, you're damn well, though, with the whole New Day, and they twerking and shit, you no, know. uh, good lord. <laughs> Good Lord, but, uh, yeah, he need to stop it with that little, uh, the bit, you know, that prance, that little bit prancy, uh, feminine girl-like personality, because uh, it's just not cutting it to me. Yeah, he need to uh, chill it with that. Because he looks like, uh, the way he was standing, too, I saw it. I know y'all saw it. seeing it. I know y'all saw it tonight in that segment. That he was just, like, he was standing, when he cut back to him, where Adam Pierce was talking, yeah, he was standing, it looked like a little bit, he like he was standing like a little girl. I was like, what the, like, what the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, I, I just wanted to point that out. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, so I guess that's, uh, yeah, they, uh, now they're all caught, caught, now they're all going into a, you know, uh, a storyline with, uh, of them all being against each other, fiddle four way, going into, uh, day one. Whether it's a triple threat or, you know, uh, Fatal Four Way now. I guess we'll find out later on tonight. So, yep. And I guess so. Uh, yeah, RK Bro is about to have a match now. I'm about to. Uh, I'll speak on that also. Back in their uh, segment. Backstage. So yeah, I'll be. Uh, you know, I'm about to go into that next. Are they about to face? Uh, Otis, the Alpha Academy, one of the half of the a Alpha Academy, so I'm about to get on to that. Yeah, so speaking on, you know, that uh, RK Bro uh, segment that just uh, happened, uh, you know, before the match, which is about to uh, commence. Oh, uh, uh, this RK Bro, this, R this RK Bro tag team should have been over, like, months ago. But it's obviously... Like, these kinds of tag teams, like, yeah, honestly, obviously they don't last, uh, like, a bit of, like, a time. It's usually for, uh, of course they, 
stay uh, remarkable together. But it's just like a tag team like this, just obviously just like for a bit of time, just uh, as a draw, as a draw tactic. You know, so uh, whichever uh, category of uh, you know concern and brand. So yeah, that's just uh, I, I, they should have been over. I'm all over this RK bro. It just it just looks like dragged out, unfunny satire now. For real, yeah, I'm I'm being ser- I'm being actually serious. Whether you want don't want to, you know, it's like, yeah, it's okay if you don't agree with me or not. But if you just want to, you know, bitch to me and complain in tears, then <laughs> okay, I'll laugh at that also. But I'm just, yeah, it just it's going on for t- uh, it's going on for uh, too long. It's been going on for like, way too long. Like it's obviously just be like up just for you know you know, merchandise and, uh, you know, brand deal related. So, yeah, hopefully they just end this shit soon, which is probably most likely not yet. So, <sighs> whatever the case. Okay. So, yeah, let's get into the match. RK Bro versus, well, it's, uh, yeah, RK Bro versus Alpha Academy or Riddle versus uh, Otis. Okay, we yeah, we, it was Riddle versus uh, Alpha Academy, and we just got done with that. Oh goodness gracious! Yeah, Alpha Academy. If you look at it in my description too, oh, it's just the Alpha Academy too. I know it's the way they they're being booked, but I have to also look into more of a. Uh, well, I know Oli- I know Otis is a complete joke, but uh, I I have to look more into Chad Gable also. But, uh, yes, I, I heard, uh, that he's had, uh, this supposed, uh, all drop in charisma, and that he's, you know, he's, uh, sup- apparently got it, and I don't know, I don't, uh, actu- actually, obviously, I don't, because, uh, the way he's being, not being cared for, and the way he's just being treated as a jobber, but, uh, I mean, he can make, he can still make something out of it, but it's just, like, yeah, because it's still wrestlers, they can still prove themselves, but it's just like, so I can see it. he still lacks, too, that hit on his part, but, uh, yeah, I had to look more into that, because yeah, they, they both were dull, just like the match was dull. Like I said, just RK, bro, tag team, come on, come on, Vince, what are you doing with this shit? Just end the shit. All right, and now we're about to move on to, uh, Bianca Blair and fucking <laughs> Doolittle. Do- uh, do- little. <laughs> Do shitty, do drop, yeah. We got to go into that. Okay. Uh, and they, yeah, do drop, do drop. Obviously, getting a bit of liking to it too. Uh, the match was good, of course, because uh, let me mention that first. Because yeah, yeah, it's, that's always it's already been proven. Bianca can have a match with anybody, so <laughs> I don't think I need to go there. With the, you know, the F. Let the athleticism and just uh, her pure, her pure ring of skills as a whole. That alone, she could just yeah, she could just seriously have a, just have a match with anybody. Oh my gosh, but I, I still I it's, I it's kind of lo- the way I they just uh, do drop just attack her again. It's kind of looking uh, still looks horrible, but I don't know. It, it's it's kind of looking. Uh, I'm gonna have to see where it goes because I can't. I still. It's. It just. It looks. It just looks like Disney. It looks like Disney st- storytelling to me. I just can't get into it. It's like it's. <laughs> I just can't. But we'll see what you know what happens to go from here. I don't know because the, yeah, Drewtrap would just have to yeah her in the you know you obviously if anybody didn't see that. Of her just being in the ring. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she cannot <laughs> wrestle completely. Yeah, she can't move her she can't move her legs or her hips at all. If she was if she was begged to do it, so yeah, but uh, it looks like uh her as placating to like a uh, Looking like a, you know, just a scary monster hero. I don't know, it could be something there. 
if she's booked uh, even more correctly, because uh, yeah, I, I see what they're trying to do with her. And they're trying to make her, they're trying to give her that, you know, Victoria. Well, it's, it's been overly done, which I, uh, you know, been hearing a, a bit hearing, you know, from what I see it too, because I, uh, you know, I've seen that, looking back, seeing that, but yeah, uh, yeah, I guess, yeah, she is kind of, uh, it looks good, but still looks, uh, you know, seriously trash, but yeah, we'll see. Because I'm not liking the storyline with Bianca. Okay, like, they seriously, they, this is, they, like, she has arguably the best year in 2021, her year. And this is what, the, she, she became the SmackDown Women's Champion. And this is what they do to her. Nor the end of, nor, nor, nor the end of, near the end of 2021. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> fucking ridiculous. I mean, I can't, but I fuck, this. Fuck that motherfucker, man. Like, yeah, let's get into it, man. Let's get into the next. So I just, uh, you know, getting into the Kevin Owens and uh, Bobby Lashley match. I just saw uh, Gable Stevenson. I never, I didn't uh, really, uh, besides uh, speaking up for him, you know, being on a, you know, under, you know, just being, if you saw that video, go, uh, you know, check it out. I'll try to, uh, yeah, I'll just uh, put it in, uh, in the beginning of the, uh, you know, my critique of uh, Raw, but uh, besides just uh, speaking uh, speaking up for him in his current situation, yeah, I haven't really saw much of Gabriel Stevenson, and they're pretty much, because he's an Olympic gold medalist, so I think they're pretty much, they're going to, uh, Vince is going to try to, you know, build him up as the next, uh, or some kind of iteration character from Kurt, uh, Kurt Angle, uh, and I'm a, um, come on now. Yeah, ho- hope hopefully they don't do that, which they most likely might do, because they've done it to, uh, they try to, well, yeah, Conda, it was Conda and Goldberg, but fuck that, that Robert, Robak was his, even though I don't, uh, you know, associate with him now, uh, you know, as a, uh, as a wrestler, just overall person, or whatever, but yeah, Robak was his own person, but people try to say he was uh, another Goldberg, and... Yeah, that's the only thing. Uh, yeah, people try to say Robic was a Goldberg, another Goldberg, and then they try to also say Dolph Ziggler is another Shawn Michaels, which is a you know a complete a wrong, bogus ass statement. But yeah, hopefully they don't do that because uh, yeah, I, w- I actually want to see what he could do from his end, even though he's going to be uh, obviously limited. So yeah, it was, we'll obviously see from here. So yeah, uh, yeah. Let's get into uh, the next one. Uh, Kevin Owens and Bobby Lashley. Let's get it. So we just, uh, yeah, Bobby Lashley and uh, Kevin Owens just ended, and you know, Bobby Lashley obviously won. Not. And it's clearly obvious, like I said, where uh, Kevin Owens, just like Finn Balor, it, uh, pretty much stands. Yeah, pretty much be how they're being treated. Looking wise, yeah, which is uh, you know, just a complete shame. You know, even though I don't like Kevin Owens, I know he has talent, but you know, so yeah, it's just a you know, complete shame what's going on with there, you know. But it's only it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. That's coming. But uh, I guess that was a. Does Bobby Lashley, Bobby Lashley, yeah, I just noticed. Can't believe I, did, I didn't notice it that before. Yeah, Bobby Lashley, Bobby Lashley, <laughs> Bobby Lashley, he's been having decent. Yeah, his best, or his best match recently it was, you know, of course, with Saudi Arabia with Goldberg, but yeah, he is having one of his best. He, right as of now, he's just having, the, uh, you know, Left and right, he just having decent matches left and right. So yeah, I I appreciate that. I'm looking at that, and I, yeah, I, I look at things like that and appreciate that. He's really come up. So, all right, so let's get into oh goodness gracious, what I like to call it big time cringe. <laughs> yeah, let's listen to her. Goodness gracious, I can't bear it. <laughs> 
I seriously can't do it. Yeah, if I just got listening to Becky Lynch and Liv Morgan attempting to cut a promo, whoo wee! Cool. How much did? Oh my gosh! I just like how much that segment stunk. Goodness me! Uh, I did not know until I actually sat through from my eyeballs to my nose. Ugh. I think I was almost about to barf a little. And I think she, I think Becky broke a bit of, uh, I think she broke a bit of character. It kind of, I mean, kinda, honestly, these days, too, it's, it's obvious, uh, it happens more. Because, of course, you know, like, yeah, she, uh, Oh, excuse me. She she broke character and like uh said that yeah, you know, like I hear, you know, basically community, you know, whatever, uh wherever, like on uh, social media or you know, YouTube, podcast, whatever. And basically said uh she and she said that uh, you know, I hear you out all out there criticizing me and acting like you you know, been in the rig or everything like that, you know, I've I've broken gender barriers. <laughs> Bringing up the feminist bullshit and just desperately trying to get herself over completely, you know, just believable as a heel. And it's not working at all. <laughs> at fucking all. Like, yeah, that's our fucking, you know, see, it's like, that's that's everybody's job. And as far as community, too, that's, that's everybody's job to criticize in what you do in wrestling. And as a whole at every aspect which you do very little of like honestly who can tell me like her character down to her chris charisma and besides being decent at wrestling what else does she have she literally just has she has nothing else nothing else yeah, she could be, like, she could, the girl, she could be, like, she could, <laughs> you already know she can't cut on the mic. In, in the ring, she can barely do that, too. I don't get, I don't get the hype. I don't. I don't get the hype around Becky. Just like I said before, I seriously don't. Everything she does. And then you got Liv Morgan coming out like a, co- like an obvious, complete, animated android. Goodness gracious, like, you could, like, clearly tell, too, like, she doesn't even make it like she's talking on her own, like, we know, like I said, like I said, we all know it's script- scripted, but she, uh, she makes it known that she talks, that she talks from a script, good gosh, like, good gosh, it's fucking terrible, that's all I have to say, it's fucking terrible, I think, I, I don't know if she can do better on the mic, by herself, but so, uh, somebody needs to teach her how to actually cut a believable promo. Cause the, yeah, just the shit she doing right now. Every time she does it, just looks more and more and more and more and more like a dancing fucking clown. Just oh my god, she's just just. Stop talking on the mic completely, cause she just, she just, it's not, it's not believable at all. She can't do it. She can't cut. She can't do it. Just like Becky, they both can't do it. They both can't cut. <laughs> well, let's move the fuck on. So I just got uh, finished. Yeah. So uh, AJ Styles in almost. <laughs> oh yes, please. I just uh, feel like, uh, at least clearly, because they try to, like, build it as if he's not, they're not going to uh, break up, which we know they clearly are, but, you know, just trying to, uh, you know, as tag teams do, just uh, try to stay together and uh, not uh, let personal feelings get in between frustration. But, oh, yes, man, it's just getting more and more like AJ is about to leave <laughs> and go on his own. But I'm kind of scared also because... They can after they after this they can uh, yeah because I guess they can't you know really 
because I don't know, it's either they really didn't have enough anything for AJ. Well, it's obviously just for to obviously teach almost, just like they've uh, probably been teaching them also, but they obviously never they don't they didn't even have anything for AJ yet, or they're just uh they just want to benefit more you know financially wise you know this uh needs more dollars in his pocket also it's probably just a business thing well obviously of course just like rk bro yeah basically the same situation as rk bro like a uh, tag team that's long been long overdue you know, everybody's just sick of it all like just like come on the fuck get this shit over with already and yeah finally they just look like they are just like rk bro should have been done already but yeah, oh yeah. Hopefully they follow, they follow through with this, like they are. I'm just being a bit paranoid, but yeah, hopefully they do. And uh, but also, yeah, they might. I might. Uh, well, I also forgot to say that yeah, they might uh just relegate him to just being, you know, back to being, you know, jobbing, booking him uh horrendously and uh, look at him like making it like a you know back in the mid card division so i'm scared for that so oh uh, yeah uh, yeah i just uh seriously don't that's hope that happens but yeah let's go let's uh i just pray just pray okay yeah we just got finished watching uh you know damian priest and Finn Balor versus the Dirty Dogs, Dolph Ziggler, and Bobby Roode. Yo, is he, yo, is he actually, is he, I wonder if he's actually Rick Roode's son. I think I looked up before, and he's not, I don't think he is, but, yeah, he just always confuses me with, because that, of that last name. And, uh, kind of, he has his mannerisms, but, a lot is weird. But, hey, <laughs> I <laughs> like how uh, Austin, uh, yeah, all, at the end of the match, uh, Austin came out <laughs> from wherever the fuck and took a picture. <laughs> just fucking love this mother. There you go. This, <laughs> this fucking guy is just, he's completely, completely comical. Uh, I can't wait to see, uh, if he don't get fucked up, uh, I hope to see, uh, I can't wait to see what's next to come from here on out yeah because he's just uh yeah <laughs> that personality you know, is just having that already that sheer oozing charisma from you already it's just uh that's a huge plus obviously what you need so yeah what, what i what i already said about austin uh, austin theory yeah he's, he's clearly a money maker and we got rhea ripley versus well yeah let me rephrase, Rhea Jobberly versus Zelina Mid Car Vega. <laughs> oh man, goodness gracious! Yeah, yeah, Rhea Ripley too. I, uh, this is uh, damn. Considering what's happened to her, in like what the span of, like the uh, the last six months. Four six months right now. Six the last six months uh, as of lately, and she completely dropped straight to the jobber uh, to the jobber arena. It's like damn. Yeah, like I think I've uh, yeah I've mentioned it before. Like you should already uh yeah I hope y'all did notice you know if y'all whether y'all was uh you know if y'all like a uh, Rhea or Bianca fans, yeah, once Becky, once Becky and Charlotte was coming back, wait, that's Charlotte, yeah, yeah, once, uh, once Becky and Charlotte was coming back, well, that was it, that was it for them, it was just the reason the way it happened, I think, yeah, just the reason the way it happened is it because, yeah, I still, I still, I'll still believe this too, yeah, the only way, like, uh, you know, the way it played out for Bianca and Rhea to be, you know, champions at that time you know in the beginning of 2021 is because you know Charlotte and Becky wasn't there so it's like almost like they had to and of course that's not a diss it's not a diss you know 
not at all. No, dis no disrespect at all. I'm just uh, that's just how I'm just stating. That's how WWE plays out. That's how they play out, and you know, in relegating, they temporarily, you know, do when it comes to really uh, you know, as far as like just using using uh other talent just for the time being, you know, to get whatever they get from them. Because they see uh, they're uh, pretty much, you know, a, a community favorite. So they use them for the time being and they discard them as soon as uh, the top the top talent gets back. So yeah, that's what Vince does since day one. But yeah, the women's division as a whole too. Just like I said, I've been, uh, just like, uh, you know, the time I've been speaking on them. It's completely just, uh, but yeah, let's get into, uh, of course they did it, they made it completely fucking obvious, they just, uh, yeah, like we, uh, like we, uh, like all, we already was about to know that now it's a uh, triple threat now, didn't even fucking try to indicate whether it was going to be a triple threat or not, this fucking booking, man, this is the why you even go through it in the first fucking place? Like, okay, just make it a fucking fatal four way. Like, oh my gosh, this this fucking nonsensical booking is just completely retarded. It's just straight up, completely retarded. It's racist, and it's just more of a you know Austin Theory and Vince, whatever there. Whatever the fuck that's happened, uh, you know, y'all already uh, spoke on that. Whatever the fuck this intends to be, but yes, ha uh, ha, uh, man. Yeah, I'm gonna just make this, you know, real short and nice. They clearly dropped the ball in this. I just see, I just you know see the potential ability in it being just among epic proportions, and they just they tr and they treat it like a rat for a piece of cheese. Like they treat it like it's that cl it's that uh, you know one of the trick in the books about a heel, where they uh, you know picturing a. Uh, the Miz as, you know, that, uh, you know, that he'll even use, uh, you know, his own, uh, you know, his partner, you know, his girl, they'll use anybody as a shield, yeah, he just used, like, come on, uh, I mean, I, yeah, I get it, for John Cena, for, like, they do type of wrestlers, like, John Cena, this, yeah, that, that would've worked, John Cena, yes, Kurt Angle, absolutely, but, in these particular, like going up against guys like Edge, CM Punk, Daniel Bryan. You no, no. Like this, this you don't do this. Like that shit don't work. Especially like how fucking fantastic they are both on the mic, and how consistently, how consistent they are in the ring. What the fuck? <sighs> oh my gosh. But yeah, that's uh yeah. This short <coughs> this short and little. Completely a fucking mistake. But let's but that's uh, let's hurry up and get to the main event because they already uh, forcing me to make this video a bit too long. Fucking three hours too. <sighs> yeah, of course, uh main event. Bobby Lashley and uh, Biggie. Good match, good match. Like I said, uh, Bobby, well, of course Biggie, but Bobby, Bobby's been having decent matches as of late. Even since his uh, match with uh, Goldberg, like I said. So, yeah, this, of course this match is going to be a, uh, it was going to be a match that looks like it's uh, at least belongs in the pay-per-view. But, yeah, the match was good, but, you know, it's like, it's 
feel like when I said before that when you know it's just like, like they, they don't even care like they've done it twice and they'll I'm not I'll, uh, I mean I don't uh, they probably they won't but most, most likely they will but they've already done it twice and not you know of him being pinned twice twice you know twi- twice by Roman Re- Roman Reigns uh, t- yeah, twi- yeah, twice. Or, uh, yeah, I can't tell. Yeah. Yeah, he's been picked twice as WWE champion. They don't even care to protect him. Yeah, his reign, uh, it, it, like, it, it don't even feel like he's champion. That's how badly they booked him so far in his, in so far in his run. Because at that moment, yeah, I've, uh, I've, I've listened to other people and uh, I formed my own uh, thoughts, clutched together, and yeah, they've uh, they uh, when it, at the time when you know when CM Punk came back, they desperately needed they uh, too soon turned Big E into champion. So that's why yeah, that's why I feel like he's uh, well you know he's obviously champion right now because they did it, you know it was a de- it was gonna happen, but as far as like a desperate move, they did it. They didn't even like feels that they should, you know, rightfully so, and, you know, at a time like WrestleMania, it should have happened, they just did it, you know, for ratings, you know, they was desperate for ratings, that's all, and, yeah, super fucking bad, super bad, yeah, that was Raw tonight, another, another big giant clusterfuck, and, uh, well, at least I can enjoy uh, NXT a little bit. I guess. So yeah, I'll see y'all uh, just whenever uh, we come back to talk to discuss about what's next. I'll see y'all later.